Yeah. And hey, hey, so hey. What? He'd probably you, be do not, get, do not get up in my face like this. You don't want. You do not well, we want to be playing man this to man? game. We can't talk man to man. We can't talk man to man. I don't think that's possible. That's not possible. Why? I don't think it's possible because Why? there's only one man standing in this aisle right now. We can't talk man to man. Ma'am, sit down before he slaps the toxic masculinity out of you. Welcome, guys, to new reaction video. Now and sit down, me. little miss. And it's before me, I go ahead and like get, child. I'm gonna go ahead and get TSA to come on this plane and haul you off. You want to make that big of a show about it? Why would they haul me off? You want to make that big of a show because you're not confirming the document that I have. You don't want to identify me as such. Uh, the government chose what to identify you when you were born in a hospital. They wrote M or F next to your birth certificate. Okay, that is my that, life. That was dictated by a power much and greater than mine. And it's my life, and I don't right? feel that way. A higher I power than like me. I'm, I'm, man, not the authority. So I'm a man. I'm not the authority that assigned you, you what you get, were assigned. She need to get okay, up out of his face. She need to get up out of his face. I agree. Thank you, sir. I, if you continue this display, if you cannot confirm what my docket says here, that there are, in fact, two ladies sitting in this aisle, there is one. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Correct? There is one lady You're gonna have and to one man. Well, that's not what it says I need in these seats in order to fly. So if you're going to continue to fight the facts that I'm looking at right here, then I'm going to have to haul you off because you could be a dangerous person. We don't know. We have no way of confirming person. Because this. I identify as a because male. Because you're not because the person on my list. You're not because the person I am on my list. a man? It's a simple... In one of two answers. Are you mad because I'm more no man than you? There's no gray zone. Is that what you're mad about? Is it really that big of a deal? You want to get up Is in my face right about? now? I don't mm -hmm. need this job. Look, you you, you want to play oh, big enough, man. Oh, you don't need this job? You want to play Let's big enough, man. All right. Look. <laughs> oh. What? No, you know don't what? don't lose your job. Don't lose your job. Better. Don't lose your job. You're right. I'm don't lose your job. Oh. Don't lose your job. Better than that. Don't lose your job. Identify down, ma'am. Because in court, in court, that's not gonna be in court. That's not gonna be a man. Don't lose your job. Don't lose your job, brother. Don't lose it. That's a good point. In court, that's not a man. Don't risk your job. Good advice. It's absolutely correct that the courts would perceive her as a woman, leading to his incarceration for her actions. Do you think a 12-year-old should be able to get a tattoo? No. No. It's a pretty permanent decision. They can't make the decision for themselves yet. Something permanent on their body. Do you think a 12-year-old should be able to consent to puberty blockers? Yes. Yes. And I understand how that sounds really hypocritical. Yes, it's a permanent change on their body, but I think that at that point in their life, they probably know who they are who they want to be. And you think so at 12 years old? Uh, yes. At that age, you're not even able to make rational decisions. So wait, people can't have alcohol until they're 21, but they can do permanent harm to their health at age six. Absurd. This clip describes what's truly wrong with this country. The uh, problem is unbelievable that it's being asked. Very insulting to real women. No matter what you call it, wearing a dress and makeup does not make you a woman. <laughs> Convert your children Happens bit by bit Quietly and subtly And you will barely notice it It is genuinely frightening to know that there are individuals openly stating We're coming for your children Oh my god bro Oh hell no man What the f*** man I'm this bitch your ass yeah, we, and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly what they are. They are cheap fakes video. Uh, they are done in bad faith, uh, and uh, and some of your news organization uh, have uh, have been very clear, have stressed that these right wing, uh, the white wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation, disinformation, uh, and so we see this, and this is something coming from from your your part of the world, calling them cheap fakes and misinformation, uh, and uh, I'll quote the 
Washington Post where they wrote, uh, they wrote about this and they said how Republican used misleading videos to attack Biden. He's reached a point where he needs to be reminded of his position in the morning and probably has traffic lights inside of the White House. Like, I don't know if he was told through his earpiece to stand for a photo or he had a biological doo-doo moment. But either way, American politics never delivers to make more memes. But I just beg, America does not crumble as a result of more memes. As an elderly man, you feel sorry for him. As the president of the U.S., you feel sorry for us. People experience gender dysphoria, the rates of depression and suicide that are like existent among this population um, which is an incredibly disenfranchised population I, I think it's just it's incorrigible with saying that you like care about human beings that you care about people's well-being um, when we see that the statistics show that people's like senses of severe depression and suicidality are greatly reduced by being able to pursue gender affirming care Stop the cap. Almost every person that has trans issues has general anxiety disorder or depression issues. And I would say that that is likely because It's almost of... a one-to-one -one correlation, which no. therefore plays into that trans is a manifestation. Wouldn't it make sense then to address the root cause, which is untreated depression, untreated trauma, untreated body image dysphoria issues, rather than going to the symptom? So for example, if you come over here and you say, I have a fever, I don't know mm -hmm. if you have the flu, if you have or if you have a bacterial infection, I, I have no idea. It's a symptom. Transgenderism is a symptom. So we're treating symptoms. So if you come here and you say that you have a fever, I, I, it might be antibiotics, it might be ibuprofen, or it might be that you might need to get your appendix taken out. I don't know. So the way that we're now having the medical community is mm -hmm. we only treat the symptom of transgenderism when there's a root cause of either trauma or maybe sometimes parent issues, depression, generalized anxiety disorder, and this is not speculation. There is not a single individual that identifies as trans that does not have underlying pre-existing mental health issues that get- My man is dropping one truth bomb after another. It all boils down to the basics. I feel like both, like a man and a woman. I'm playing both sides so that I always come out on top. But I also feel like neither and genderless. Like I'm both, but I'm neither. I really ID with being like androgynous, but I also really identify with being a gender. So which is it? That's why I kind of like the term bi-gender, because I feel like I'm both, but also neither. So I feel like that works. But I feel like most of the time when people hear like bi-gender, they just think like man and woman. So you only got two choices. I don't know. I think it's fun. There's so many different types of identities and expressions. I think it's all really interesting. I am so confused right now. Oh my goodness. Just a few years ago, nobody would have imagined that this would occur.